and welcome. Neil Ashley from Tax TV. Just going to say what 2022 review from January up until now. What a season it's been from relegation to possible promotion, short space of time. So, just a reflection on some highlights and leave your comments below. On, you know, the, the main ones, what you thought for all 2022 has been a turning point in his fortunes or his. Earlier, earlier on, so going back to January 2022 this year, uh, looked like we're in, well, we're in relegation battle, not maybe we're down there. Matty Wolf making his first team debut, his first start, and also in transfer, transfer window. We brought in Bassey and Queener, we got brought in on loan, just try and shut things up and give us an attacking option. Going into February, we just briefly going into February, we had a his one nil away win against Dull. His first all season. That was about it, really. We were no tells to write on my bat. And going into Feb uh, from February going into April. Losing to Huddersfield Town, it confirmed the inevitable. Uh confirmed his relegation. It was shown live on Sky Friday night. I think we all kind of knew that, you know, well, the great escape wasn't going to happen. Grasp onto what beer up, but again, it got confirmed in front of TV cameras and that. A couple of days later, two days later, Aspargi had gone. Uh, gone just took his number two away, Mike. He'd gone and left Mike Devaney in caretaker charge with Joel Alman. Things started to change a, a bit. Uh, Devaney came in. Obviously, Loney players had gone back. Um, I think Vita played in one more game, but then he had gone. So, if Loney's had gone, and it showed you his lack in depth. Uh, as Mike Devaney were using a lot of under-23 players in. Um, looking on team sheets, you're thinking, if this sign of things to come. And again, it was fewest away wins. It was disappointing, disappointing stats, really. You know, fewest, fewest wins. We only had six, you know, and points, 30. Lowest it ever been back since 1952-53 season. Fewest goals we'd ever scored. 18, 18 goals we scored all season. Fewest home and away wins in 50-odd year, 50 year. And to cap it all off to Rupsalt into ones even more finishing below Derby County, what made a minus point, a minus 21 points deduction. So it's the first time we're botting it league since 1965. So I'm a bit of kicking teeth. Uh, disappointing season, a lot of reasons. I love a lot of reasons. Uh, I think off at pitch and it transferred onto it. It's mismanaged all of it, shot we, uh, we'd gone from seeing before. Playoff hopefuls to come bottom of the league, relegated behind this side, but it also had 99 points. So we just to send it down and move on. We try and lick his wounds and we're going into June. And I said previous in my previous videos as well, is that the first appointment as a coach or stroke manager would be critical and crucial. And it turned out that way as we're going into end of 2022. Michael Duff got appointed. Um, a statement that I think a lot of fans what were happy and pleased about was some unknown uh, managers, coaches, in betting and that kind of thing. But Hasselbank being one of them, of the really V, I think Duff were always number one appointment, number one choice. Conway and Lee, again, Eddie Bud reshuffle. No longer having day to day running at club. So that will them off. So a bit of an upheaval, a bit of a change in gigabyte in close season. I think he needed it. Patterson came in and Duff said he wanted a right hand man to come in. Uh, Patterson came in and then the start of the players in and outs. So obviously Duff had been in, assessed what he got, you know, what he's got to do. Plus he's like your local Connells, uh, Cundy, Jason uh, Searle. 
trying to think of someone else and to, to McCarthy, Connor McCarthy. So it's sent to be a bit of a short, quick turnaround and players were coming in. Uh, got invited through to the player uh, interaction where we could interview some players and I'm lucky enough to talk to a couple of players. And they were intent, their intent was they wanted to play football. Um, I think that's some of what we were have been lacking. Um, some of the players that had already gone or rumoured to be going, it was what we're going to be left with. I think we're a, a, a fair bit of concern on on fan side. If I'm being if I'm being honest, you know, obviously you get your rumours going about, but such as like your Woodrow's is going to be going, your, your Styles, your Elix, possibly Anderson at time and that. Collins will be linked. But again, I think Duff got his his men in, his players, his team what he wants to work with, formations and stuff. So we're going into July now. We're going to be going into pre-season as well. Uh Morris and Britain. Morris were a bit of a shock as well because obviously Woodrow had gone and I was expecting either one or other strikers. And it turned out that both his main strikers had gone. Adebayo had gone, Palmer had gone. You know, they'd offered extension at contracts, they turned down, they wanted to go elsewhere. So Palmer and uh, Adebayo had gone. So it was starting to have a bit of a clear art, started having a bit of a clear art to players want one fitting in, or for whatever reason, wanted to express the wish to move on. So Morrison Britain had gone uh, at this time. We're still having, you know, we still had such as Ellick and Styles and that. So, you know, I'd be calm the storm. A few more players came into Barnsley at the time. So, Nicky Cadden and Norwood, but, but uh, they both came in at the time. So, again, starting to show strength in numbers. Joe Lauman had left. Um, obviously, he came he under Ishmael. He stayed on under the previous two. But when one stuff has sorted his uh, backroom staff out, Joe Lauman had gone back to standard Liège. Uh, so, you know, fair play, you know, thank, and thanks for his service and his time when he spent here taking over caretaker role as well when shot went and asked you for a part of the I want my. So, going into August, Fixtures have been done. It was an early, uh, early season kick-off, wasn't it, for this time round? And to be fair, it was a pretty tough start uh, when you look at some of uh, the fixtures that we're having. Plymouth, Ipswich, Derby, Wednesday, going to be coming up. You know, well, a, a fair few decent decent sides and probably a good test tester for us. Coming to the end of that, Tedich came in from Man City and then also Josh Martin came in as well so adding a few more numbers to the squad uh, still short and in some areas and that because we're coming to any transfer window come September but with Rover Storm I think um, first game away at Plymouth well, a few questions to get asked you know formation and players were they gelling were they fitting into style Um and I think the Ipswich game for me away showed character and I thought this is the start of possibly things to come. You can see it starting to knit together, uh, going down twice, but coming back to get a respectable uh, respectable draw at Ipswich. And I thought, yeah, this is this can like, just start to kick start on. I'm also winning away at Wednesday, another great performance and highlight. So September, in September, um, Elik, I think majority of fans were thinking it might have been going in the summer or a bit earlier, like with Morris and Britain, but it was in the transfer window. Elik and Styles, Styles had gone, signed an extension, but gone out to Millwall, but Elik had gone. But again, we hadn't stopped. Wanted to try and bring in uh, players, some um, Edwards, Tom Edwards came in. On loan and Adam Phillips came in permanent. So again, just missing that, you know, I think it's been well documented like now. And an attacker or a striker didn't materialise, didn't work out. Went through a bit of a blip. 
and going to October, man, coming to a bit of a blip where things were trying to find that elusive win. On you know, Thomas had picked up a, a nasty injury, so he was like seeing how can we react to going off like I think it was six unbeaten at the time, and we've gone through a bit of a blip. And we, we sent to weather the storm again. Duff with his formation, his tactics going to 3 5 2, going, trying to you know free it back, wing backs and midfield and strikers. And again, it was one of the youngest sides in history to play in the EFL Cup against Donny Rovers. I think we won 4 2 away. So Seen emergence uh, Jallo come through as well, scoring uh, scoring a couple. So I was sixteen year old, so signs were there that positive signs were there that the foundations throw into the mix as well. Nicky Eden joining up with under eighteens, and then you've got you still got your, your your progression all the way through from the young from the eighteens to first team squad. November a good away win as well. Away at Bolton in FA Cup. Again, Bolton, no no mean feat to go via and and win. So progression progression's via. Lost out to Port Vale in the FL Cup, but then we're still in the, you know, obviously we had the Leeds game previous to that. But you, what I'm looking at for like now is the league and for progression on that, which is coming up to like December, which is going to tie us in nicely to tie it off. So from relegation to where we are at the moment in time, fourth in the league, games in hand, let me know your thoughts um, about where certain key moments will were, were happen for you in the months of 2022. That's my bit of review on and my tech on 2022, where things can alter so much in a short space of time and comparing going into January, the beginning of this year, 2022, I'm now comparing going into January 2023 in a lot, I, I want to say better, healthier position, albeit in a league below, but I can see standards being set by Duff and his uh, battle staff. I've got more belief in what he's wanted to do. Just needs to get back. So it's going to be an instrumental January coming up. But that's my take on 2022. From relegation to possible promotion. Love to hear your thoughts. Leave your comments below. Uh, stand out moments of 2022 for, for such as yourselves. Um. I'm going to be doing some more content and that coming up, but this will my take on 2022. Hope you have a, a prosperous and healthy new year, 2023, uh, for your friends and family and loved ones. Going to 2023, can we go back to the championship? Looking a lot more promising, looking a lot more hopeful. Have a good new year. One thing left to say, you were heads.